Welcome back to Rule the Ways. We are currently at war with the 30th French. Um, they got three battleships, and there we got three battleships. I'm actually going to move. I'm thinking of this. I'm going to move those other three from Northeast Asia. Southeast Asia. Uh, of course, my destroyers are slow. Coastal raid and the French decline. That's fine, gives us a few victory points. So it looks like our new destroyers don't make 28 knots. A bit of a pain, but not the end of the world. We just know not to build any more of that design. Only six months off for having a submarine fleet. How are the. Um... Okay, we can't use the Nanoa class. So we're going to have to design a new. I want a new light cruiser in a month or so. Here comes the load more. Then. Damage control, rate of fire improvement, convoy attack. So we've got 1.3. Let's design ourselves a light cruiser. So that should be 8k. I'm actually going to do the auto design button just because I like getting rid of the, um, the basics to begin with. I'm going to clear all those turrets there because I don't. I'd rather have. I fit doubles on these yet. Forward and aft. I can apparently. Put some 4 inch secondaries in. 24 knots. I want you to a bit faster than that. Inch belts, that uh, deck's fine, turrets need some armour, that'd be a bit of a problem. Let's increase the weight a little bit. So we've got central firing. I'm actually going to see if I can get a couple more torpedoes on her. Okay, maybe I need to put some armor on the top of the turret as well then. Let's keep the six inches and then just add a load of... Okay, it didn't have a problem with that. I have a problem with that though, that looks horrible. That on the other hand is not too bad. So, you okay with that? That's fine, she shouldn't be too expensive. What's your date? Zoomy, I can pronounce the Zoomy. I only build one because, you know, that will chunk it, take a few chunk, a bit of my cash out. Can I generate a little picture for her? No, still doing that. I mean, maybe we can win this war. I mean, it's trench warfare. Come on. We're losing the war, mainly because we haven't got enough ships. Let's move a couple of these heavy cruisers. 
them back to Northeast Asia. There we go. Hopefully they'll give us a bit of a chance of hunting them down. Oh, we need to add another ships and then submarine patrol. Continue to push. Uh, Montcalm escapes, but yeah, this is actually doing something now. Ooh, full fleet battle. And the French decline. Currently, only us and Russia are building battle, uh, battle cruisers, so. Really putting a lot into this Tasevich class. Unfortunately, we don't know anything about. Hey, we have subs. Aha! Uh -huh. Convoy defense. With three of our battleships, because that's apparently a very good use for our gun. Battleships. Turn in. Zoom up and turn in as well. And apparently, we've got a French battleship here. Now, this could be important. It's a Marengo class. Zuma is massively outgunned. Let's see if we can draw them back into our. Right, we can get to 18 knots. She can get to 19. And the French and their better ships. Right, Zuma can now swing north. You should try going a bit northeaster so I can get your um, side guns going. Oh, she's fine. Worth 20,000 points. You can actually told me how many points her ships were worth. Okay. Now we adjust again. And we have all our guns in action. Hopefully, on the entire battle fleet. Not quite. We need to make another slight adjustment. Now all our guns are in. We're going to be fouling our own target, but we just need to get a couple of hits and we're laughing. You can move up to your maximum, you can come across like this. Zoom is now air controlled. Come on, give me some fire. Hey, right, first strike. She hasn't exploded. See, I'm actually quite hopeful for this. Cause if I can get a, get a kill. On one of their battleships, this could be quite an important battle. She's closing the range a bit. They land a second hit. Can't remember what the um, you know, accuracy levels at Jutland were. Hit the turret, didn't penetrate. Our 10 inch turrets, that's pretty damn good actually at this time. So we've got 10 inch turrets. She's 9.5, so they're pretty similar. And they just misunderstand. They're going to torpedo my own ships, aren't they? Alright. The Marengo is 
close the range a hell of a lot. I'm actually going to rotate my formation slightly. Where is she going at? 15. We should also go at 15. It basically gives us stokers time, and we also don't want, we want to keep this nice little battle line going. We are two hours into the engagement. I think full speed's actually the right way to go about this. Yeah, yes, I know, we're running low on ammunition. One hit and that destroys enough to make it turn off. Might damage. Uh, this is not going to be one we write in the history books, is it? Ooh, I never hit. We're getting more hits than we're taking, that's for certain. She's only we've all got the same gunnery. We just need that one lucky hit that takes out something important. Well being careful that the enemy doesn't just turn away and escape. I want to fire whoever's in control of the signal to destroy Division 5. He obviously does not know his job. Hey, another hit on the Marengo. Less than 20% of our ammunition remaining. And now I'm going to have to be careful because she's now moved beyond her destroyer escort. I think she's got me running on low ammo as well. Uh, we're giving chase. This was a convoy object thing, wasn't it? Yeah. That's been completely forgotten. I'm not speed up to fasting, you yeah. know. Every time we turn, I know we're supposed to be the worst, but not the worst, yeah, we're back backwards in our technology at this stage. But really, do we have to have, every time we make a turn, the destroyers do not need to lose control? Let's see if I can get them to actually. Do something on their own.
All right, let's break off. We're next to no ammunition left. We've done all the damage we're going to do, and those guys have obviously decided they've had enough. Drop down to cruise speed, which is only 14 knots ish. We did chase him off to China, though. They've got it hidden somewhere in a bay. I think we'll win that on damage. But we really need the modern ships. The sooner I can get all these things scrapped, the better. Yeah, minor victory. Yeah, we did a bit more damage than we took. Yep, yeah, submarines are all starting to roll out now. We should see some action from them soon. most of them. Yeah, we'll take an extra month for them off. Then. Ooh, three center line turrets, that means you can build a proper proper modern dreadnought. We got getting raided. I'm actually going to spend two million on improved. And this will hold off the Mothra until the uh, Right, we won't see any land. Right, coastal raid. Tokyo. Got all the armored cruisers. Let's swing these guys south, shall we? Straight on the coast. If they're going to do anything, they're going to have a look at our sea spawn or whatever it's about. I don't think they're coming in personally. Oops. Game speed's dropped to normal. We could be around somewhere. No, false alarm. Occasional thing in the log, but the thing I'm seeing, unless they're up bombing away at the uh, top here. Pusan. Oh, we're not going to find him in the dark anyway now. The problem with either in these places I'm mangling the names of, I'm sorry. I don't even speak English proper. Well, they win. They found some strength from ships. Uh, I'm just need more and more as it goes. Should be okay. Next month we should see the first moth for a class come out. Ooh, industrialization. Oh, great start from the submarines. Okay, maybe the month after. No fighting, that's good. Moffat's commissioned. Oh, examine it. Captured any musicians to help take papers. Range calculator, AP room. Lose another sub. 
Okay. What can we do in the way of designing a battleship? The USA can now offer us 21,000 tons. Pretty sure they can for us um, 13 inch guns as well. Let's clear all those turrets actually. Quality 5? Does that mean they don't exist? Double turrets, this is going to be a bit of a monster. Only single turrets, okay. Forward and aft. Okay, so we've actually got better technology than the Americans. So, if I'm willing to accept that we can only build a 17,000 ton ship, we can do forward, aft, and then a midships. Okay, maybe it's not heavily armoured enough yet. One of these 11 inch belt. Belt extended deck, two inches. I want ten inch turrets, a bit of three and a half, three inch tops, two inches on secondaries, deck extended two inches. Okay, maybe that was a little too much. Mm-hmm. It's the speed, that'll 22 knots is okay for a line ship. Let's shave a couple of inches of armor off. Oh, that's where a lot of it's coming from. Central firing. There we go. Okay, so this is an interesting one. We've got better. We've got smaller guns. Oh, that's annoying. He said he can do a 19,000. They get us up to 13 inch guns. But we're not only single turrets around. Ah, wait. So the rest of that. Fire is not the best type of available. Central firing. Can't have the Q turret. I if I've put single turrets in the um can't provide A B. Obviously, I can't build a battleship yet. I could, but it's not worth it. I'm better off building a couple more good, good Shira classes. Until I can get better guns on my own land. So, research. Turrets and gun mountains is already on medium. We'll put that up to high as well. Yeah, until I can actually put my own better guns on, I can't build it my own. I've got a better turret system than anyone else, but I haven't got the guns to go with it. It's really quite annoying. Hey, no oh, bad. Coastal raid. Couple of the old battleships out again.
Oh, they're in behind us. That's embarrassing. That's two merchants. One battleship northeast. Yeah, they're behind us. The merchants are reporting of their position. Okay. Let's rank up the speed. Here we go. Oh, it's two battleships this time. My destroyers independent. Maybe they're going for a torpedo attack. Okay. Drop down to cruise speed. What are they making? Two Marengo class. 15 knots. Let's make 16. Near miss. I assume I need to move up here. The yeah, eyes coming in quite heavily. Uh, it was able to hold its own last time. We have one less ship this time, and they have one more, making this a pretty even battle, I think. Mishaki is at 1400 tons, 412 inches, the Marengos are 1900, 1500 tons, 412 inches. So, yeah, on main guns, it's pretty damn even. And we've got an Admiral Charna back there. Hit to the Ashai's engine room, probably not a good. No, you do not enter port. Entry port is bad. Trading fire at really short ranges. I think we're just slightly getting the, the better of this. Yeah. I'm not sure our ability to penetrate each other that much though. Oh, I say that and then she drops dead in the water. Okay, let's turn north and see if we can get yourself a Marengo class. You don't stop like that unless something horrible's happened. Okay, let's see if we can engage the Admiral Charmer as well. I don't care, you've left one enemy ship dead in the water already. And we're chasing the Admiral Charmer into the coast. Oh, pretty much destroyers could do something. I'm a bit worried about we're going to get take a torpedo here. It's almost doing its job. It's at the Admiral Charmer three times, knocked out one of its turrets. This is getting a bit close for my liking. Break, break, break. That will be torpedoes in the water any second. One of these framing classes is um, 
dead in the water now. Right, let's have the Azimo come around, drop down to cruise speed. Plus a couple of knots because I don't like 40 knots to cruise speed. Right, two of the destroyers are dead in the water. I'm assuming we're hitting the right Marengo class. See, this would be a bit of a shock. In 1904, yeah, was it 1904, 1905? Can't actually see the human here. I didn't know should be checking. Ooh. And the Exuma just goes up in one shot. That's why I'm worried about torpedoes. Hopefully we can get them to um, run into our own torpedoes at some point, or our mines. Again, I'm going to have to turn just to avoid that, uh, that other Marengo starting to move. I'm going to want to... We need to get a kill just to be able to confirm. Which means Squadron Max is now 12 knots. Oh. Yeah, the loss of that, the Exumo is going to hurt. If I hadn't just invalidated the Armored Cruisers as a class with the Gushiro class, I'd be a bit more upset. Come on. Okay, at this point, we're probably not going to catch them, and that's getting too close to the others. Let's let them go. We're taking a series of hits. There's a chance she'll sink before the scenario is over, anyway. Maybe because I could see now it was coming. Of course, you still get the occasional cruisers that so keep, you know, hunting. There we go, so let's take a. Without losing the zoom, I know. I hope one of those battle group ships goes down in the next few hours. Yes! Major victory for us. We sent the Colbert, who's worth nearly twice as much as the um, Azuma. It's going to be a bit of a morale break breaker for the French as well. Yeah, game of prestige. Yes, the battle for Mosa. So, Germany lays down. Still, no one's got the dreadnoughts, but this is a major thing for them. 19 months until we see that, but the second Mothra ship comes out in a month. I would hit turn, but it'll start being up to turn the videos a bit long as it is. Alright, see you next time, where hopefully I can actually add some superstructure. See ya.